Jesus. Oh my God. Jesus. Open it. Shit, man. How much drug did you use? I don't know, a lot. Mm. She won't be able to sit up. It makes two of us. We don't need her to sit up, do we? I don't know. She needs to be upside down. Fuck that. Who's gonna hold her upside down? Stop it! Get out your copies and let's get started. In nomine magni dia nostri satana in drogo ad alter domine inferi. Adjutorium nostrum in nomine Domini Inferi. almost ready. Tisha's like, wait, we're missing someone. And oh he's, like, he's like, Mike? Oh, Mike. And then he was so cute. He's so little. Look, look at those pictures. This is hilarious. He's oh, Where are we going? It was so funny. Like, it was really, really funny. Is everything okay, honey?
Hey sister, can you spare some change? I'm kinda hungry here. Amidst local and national controversy on concealed gun laws. Hey girls! Hey girls! You're late, we were getting hungry. Oh, everybody's hungry this morning. Not me. How's my favorite niece? I'm your only niece. Uh-oh. She's upset because her boyfriend isn't calling her back. That's not the issue. What's the issue, sweetheart? He blocked me from his Facebook. Oh no, now that's... Yeah, that's a problem. Yeah, that's a problem. No, just yogurt for me. Just yogurt? Yes, just yogurt. And it's not because I'm looking for well, anybody. Maybe you should be. Why? Well, I mean, what can she expect from a man anyway? A check every two weeks. Oh, that's all you can expect from him. Tanja. Community of Bachelor's Grove. Speak of the devil. What? According to a preliminary report, the multiple crime happened last evening, but no one found the bodies until early this morning when the school inquired about the little girl's absence. What happened? Where? Bachelor's Road. Ain't that where y'all from? Yeah, you bet. I wish it wasn't. A press conference with Sheriff Parker of the Bachelor's Grove Police Department is scheduled to begin at any moment. In the meantime, paranormal groups are going nuts on social networking sites, with the number of tweets increasing by the hour. Cool. What's cool? I just lost my appetite. This is Bachelor's Grove Cemetery we are talking about, one of the most haunted places in America. Real estate taxes are going up again. Tell me something I don't know. If you already knew, why didn't you tell me? What were you going to do about it? Move to Florida. You're never going to leave Bachelor's Grove. Good morning, Grandpa. Good morning, Princess. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, sweetie. Have some breakfast. I can't. I have to go. But you have to eat something. Place here in the otherwise peaceful community of Bachelors Grove, a man has killed his wife, two little daughters, and himself. Hours after but he found out. You have to eat something. I'll grab a bite somewhere. I promise. Are you having nightmares again? Yeah. Same one. I don't know what's wrong with me. You're not eating right. That's what's wrong. Bye, Grandpa. Forget it, he's deaf. 
Bye. John Duncan, age 51, drove home. My God, Bob. Johnny Duncan? Our Johnny Duncan? I wouldn't make that claim too loud. What happened? They say he got laid off. He killed his family because he lost his job? His mind too, apparently. Oh, God, Bob. This is horrible. It is horrible. I wonder if it's time to make that call. For what? Kiddo. What's going on? That's our sheriff. He's uh, about to open fire on a bunch of knuckleheads. Is it true John Duncan had a goat in his garage? Well, that's it. No more comments. Sheriff, sheriff. 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 No more Come questions. On. Have a nice day, coach. You keep those good grades. Tom. Back to your books, Margaret. Do you know Mr. Duncan? Oh, yes. Everybody knew Johnny Duncan. Hey, look, there's Shamalan. Hey, Mr. Shamalan! Mr. Shamalan! Mr. Shamalan! Mr. Shamalan! Is it true that you're working with the Bachelors Grove Police Department on this case? I've offered my services as a mentalist and as a medium, yes. And how is that working so far? Well, unfortunately, Sheriff Parker has refused my offer. Can you tell us why? I think like so many other people in this day and age, he's clearly in denial. In denial of what? It's not a word we like to use in the 21st century, but evil. Evil is looming over this community, and turning a blind eye to it is not going to make it go away. Concern. You ask me? You are the priest. I wasn't his priest, though. Oh, that's right. Johnny was a Methodist. He was Lutheran. <sighs> Looks like I came to the wrong church. Uh, you know he was seeing a shrink. I didn't know that. Why would you? He tell you that in confession? He told me that as a friend. We were all friends, remember? How could I possibly forget?
Have a nice day, Father. Doctor? Bob! It's always a pleasure to see you. Always a pleasure to be seen. You know you are welcome anytime, but I have to say that I wasn't expecting you until next month. I know. I just wanted to make sure there were no changes. No, not at all. Uh, besides, you know I would let you know right away. I appreciate it, Doctor. Is there any particular reason uh, to expect changes? Silly reasons. I thought maybe with what had happened. What do you mean? You know, with Duncan and his family. I see. I thought maybe... No. Megan has been disconnected from the outside world for almost 30 years. Morning, Megan. Hungry? If she's ever to come back, it shouldn't be through news of a tragic event. I take it you don't believe in shock treatment, Doctor. Not this kind. Well, you're the expert, I guess. It almost sounds like you don't trust me. You almost sound like my wife. And how is Mrs. Tyler anyway? She's getting a little too old for me. <laughs> And how is Lindsay? She's safe. That's a good thing. Dr. Santoro, you have a phone call. It's your partner. Uh-oh. Excuse me. Men never commit evil so fully and joyfully as when they do it for religious convictions. What the hell was Pascal talking about? Pascal was an atheist. He believed religious perverted men away from their true nature. All men were perverted. What? Tim, help me out here. What do you want? Men are perverted? Uh, well, they are. Perverted men. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, Lindsay! Lindsay! Lindsay, can we at least talk about it? There's nothing new to say, Tim. Did I do something, or...? I already told you. It's not you. It's me. I thought it was us. No, it's me. I'm going through something. And please, don't ask me again what it is. I don't know what it is. I just need some time. I just want to help you. You can't. Nobody can. I can give you a ride home. No, thank you. I'm taking the train. It might rain again. I'll swim my way home. Smart ass.
so okay, so, so now you don't know what's happening. So now you don't know what's happening.
Bye bye. Bye. All right, folks. I've got this room until seven. So, Bob, let's make this quick. Margaret, I'm sure you can stay after hours tonight. I can, but I don't want to. Besides, I'd have to pay Molly overtime. My paraplegic husband. It's okay, Roy. Just say it. I'm used to it. And we're still waiting for Coach Baker. And Father Jackson. Father Jackson won't be joining us. Why not? Look, if we all have to go through this shit, we should all be here. You mean you don't know? We don't know what? You don't know. Did anything happen to Jeremy? Bob? Margaret, you better call Molly Stewart. She's going to be doing some overtime tonight. I know I've seen her. I've seen a picture of her. A picture of whom? I'll know when I find it. I made you some hot cocoa. Here it is. Who is she? Why do you ask? Grandma, please. I'm losing my mind here and I know why. Oh, please don't say that. I'm losing my mind because it's in my blood. That's an awful thing to say. This woman is my mother, right? Who told you that? Grandma, I want to know everything. Who are these people? I want to know who she is. Where is she? Is she still alive? Where did these questions come from? Grandma, I saw her! That's ridiculous. Please, Grandma, please. Treating me like I'm crazy is not going to help. Please. Please. You probably recognize your grandfather. Yes, I do. Who are the others? You may know some of them. These are Roy and Peggy Kinsley. Though at the time, she was Peggy Mahoney. She was fool enough to marry her high school sweetheart. I don't think I know them. Probably not. This is Margaret Peterson. Peterson? Yes, the librarian. I'm sure you've seen her. Yes, of course. A very youthful Thomas Baker. Coach Baker? Yes. And here we have Johnny Duncan. The man who killed his family? Right. And last but not least of the group, this innocent looking kid is Jeremiah Jackson. You mean Father Jackson? Who as of today has probably joined Johnny Duncan in hell. What do you mean? I can't believe it. Are you sure it was him? I mean, has it been confirmed? I called the sheriff myself. It was our Father Jackson. I didn't even know he had a family. Nobody knew. He kept them secret. Maybe that's why he killed them. And why did Johnny Duncan kill his wonderful family? Because they were too perfect? What are we going to do? Yeah, what are we going to do? The answer to that question depends on what you believe in. What is, what is he, he doing, doing here? here? He's supposed to be a private How, 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 how much does he know? I know enough to offer my opinion and perhaps give some advice. For, for how much? Easy, Margaret. I invited Mr. Shamalan to come. You should have asked us first. You should have asked us. Calm down, folks. We need him. You need him. We need a medium? You need help. You could hear what I have to say and choose to ignore it. One way or the other, you won't see me again after today. Excuse me. It's my husband's nurse. I'm sorry I have to take this. Don't start without me. Mr. Peterson. Mrs. Peterson called. She said she's going to be late. Megan Aldridge is my mother, isn't she? Yes, she is. What happened to her? Is she dead too? No, Megan is alive. Although, unfortunately, she has been mentally ill for many years, totally isolated from the outside world. Why? What happened to her? 
Nobody knows exactly, but it had to do with this group and something they did to her in the summer of 1984. You mean some kind of prank? Well, I'm afraid it was something more serious than just a prank. Tom. Where's the dagger? Oh my God. Don't say that. Oh, fuck, holy oh, fuck, fuck. Oh, I fuck can't this, watch Margaret. This. I don't. Guys. Tom. Let's just call this off, Margaret. Guys. Do it, Tom. Fuck you. I got accepted to ITT. What? I got accepted to ITT. I got a letter today. You tripping, man. No, I got a full scholarship. Oh, congratulations. Oh, shut up. What the fuck are you talking about, Johnny? I start next semester. I have a future for fuck's sake. Oh, what the fuck? We all do, except for her. Are you sure? I don't want to go to jail. No one's going to jail. Wait a minute. I don't want to go to jail either, man. What if we get caught? We won't get caught. What if we get caught, Margaret? Whose fingerprints are going to be on the knife? Then I'll do it. No! no. Oh, wait. Fuck you! Fuck all of you, you fucking cowards! We had a deal! Bullshit! This isn't a game anymore! I'm not fucking playing! She's not a chicken or a dog. We'll rot in jail for this. Fuck you. Fuck you all. God damn it, this is bullshit. She's gonna tell on us. <sighs> What are we going to do? No, she won't. We're fucked anyways. Look at her. She doesn't even know that she's here. Yeah, she's in outer space. <laughs> Let's just get out of here. Yes, please. She'll be fine in the morning. Let's just pick up our shit and get the fuck out of here. <laughs> For more than 25 years, I've conducted investigations in so-called haunted places all over the country. And there are only a few places I decided I would never, ever visit again. And Bachelor's Grove Cemetery is definitely on the top of the list. Why? It's evil. It's nothing but a bunch of old graves sinking in the mud. You're late, coach. Some things never change. You know, I saw a TV show, it was on History Channel, or maybe Discovery, or one of those two. And they said they voted Bachelor's Grove one of the top ten scariest places in the United States. Well, that's quite accurate. Huh? I'm thinking you'd like to see your name on national television, Mr. Shyamalan. It's Shyamalan. You know, we need a video about Bachelor's Grove. The one on History Channel? Oh, no. It, ours is on YouTube, isn't it, honey? You asked me earlier how much I know and why I am here. I want to know why I'm here. Please, coach. You came late and you want to leave already? I can tell you that you're not here because of what you did that night. What do you mean? You're here tonight because of what you didn't do. Uh, explain yourself. All of you made a deal that night. Yes, we did. And you failed to comply. We what didn't do anything. That's precisely the point. You're not here tonight because of what you did. You're here tonight because of what you didn't do. Oh, you can't be sure. This is totally Your creditor has come to collect an outstanding debt. Is he talking about foreclosure? Don't be stupid, Peggy, oh, for Christ's sake. This is paranormal bullshit. Your skepticism won't save your ass, Baker. You, you can't be sure. Bob, you asked me to come and share my thoughts with this group, and I've done so. Thank you, Oscar. I appreciate it. Now, if you'll excuse me. What are you getting paid for this, Shyamalan? Nothing. I came because I owe Bob a few favors. Ah, I see. So another debt collector. You can't be sure, can you? No, ma'am, I can't be sure. Now, all of you know what I know, and you're on your own to figure this out. Good luck. Thank you for coming, Oscar. You're welcome, Bob. You're all welcome. What if he's right?
fake, a charlatan. I don't know. He has a large following on Facebook. Oh, so that makes him legit. As legit as a documentary on YouTube. Whoa, buddy, hey, whoa. For crying out loud, will you children cut it out? Quit behaving like you did when you were in high school. Two respected members of this community and their families have died under horrible circumstances. Two folks who happen to be in your social circle with you all. Everybody's in one circle or another in Bachelors Grow, and the circles overlap. It's a small town. That's we true. all know each other. That's true. I can think of at least five circles that both Jeremy and Johnny were in. They're all probably having the same meeting tonight. Except none of them were about to sacrifice a young girl to the devil in the 80s. So what's the connection, Bob? I mean, you call this, sweetie. You heard Shyamalan? With all due respect, Bob. Fuck Shyamalan. This can't be happening. Come on. Don't do this to me, please. Come on. Shit. Why here and why now? Thank you for calling AAA. Please have your membership card available. For road servers, press 1. Please have your 16-digit number available. Press your 16-digit number. <gasps> I'm sorry, I didn't get that uh, number. Please re-enter your 16-digit number. Hi, my name is Nancy. How can I you? Can you please come here? Can you please send somebody here? Help me. I'll be happy to do that, and I'm sorry you haven't come tonight. Uh, how long is it going to take to, to, to get somebody here? Problem, sir. It's the cemetery. Sorry? It, it's the battery. The battery, the battery is dead. So you need a jump? Yes, yes. Bring it! <laughs> what kind of car are you driving? It's a Honda. Honda Element. What color? Blue. Are you in the middle of a fast traffic road or an expressway? No, no. Are you in any kind of danger? I don't know. What's your test location, sir? I'm on 143rd Road, right in front of the Bachelors Grove Cemetery. Is this a joke? No, 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 it's not a joke. It's not a joke. One moment, please. <laughs> Hi, Danny Aristotle is 
depends on how long I'm wanting to first. They should be there in about 30 minutes. Can they get here any faster, please? We'll do our best. Can the driver call you at this number for update? Yes, yes. Is there anything else we can do for you, sir? Please hurry. We will. Thank you for calling AAA. Shyamalan's wrong. Of course he's wrong. Well, if he's wrong, what are we facing here? Mass hysteria. What? So you agree with him? What? Yes, what? You said mass. Like the black masses we did back in the 80s. No, no, baby. Lord have mercy. I talked to Dr. Santoro earlier today. Who? He's the resident psychiatrist at St. Anthony Hospital. The madhouse? And he gave me this long ass explanation. Short version is mass hysteria. Folks like Johnny and Jeremy, they get obsessed with a common thought and it pushes them over the edge. Why? Guilt? Guilt. Yes, Roy, guilt. Have you never felt guilt about what happened? He didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, why would we feel guilty? Why? There's a woman sitting in that hospital staring at nowhere because of your stupid prank. There's no prank. We didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, we were going to, but we didn't. Exactly. We didn't do anything wrong. That is the thought we need to hold on to. We didn't do anything wrong. We just hold that thought. What happened to Jeremy and Johnny never happened to us. We didn't do anything wrong. If you were the devil, wouldn't you punish those who didn't do anything wrong? Uh, Bob, there is no devil. Excuse me. Hello? I say we all go home and forget about this and move on with our lives. For right. once, Tom, I agree with you. Folks, it's Oscar who wants to talk to you all. Again? Hold on. Come on, Shyamalan. Hey, we've had enough of your bullshit, at least for the summer. At least for the summer. Can you hear us, Oscar? He gave me a message for all of you. What's that, man? Who's he? Who gave you a message, Oscar? You know what he wants. You all know what needs to be done. Good morning, how may I help you? Hi, I'd like to visit a patient. The patient's name? Aldridge, Megan Aldridge. One moment, please. What's your name? Lindsay Tyler. And the relationship with the patient? I'm a friend. I'm sorry this patient's not receiving new visitors at this time. I understand. I'm sorry. Good morning, Megan. Breakfast. Megan? Megan? 
Megan, what's wrong? Who is she? I'd better get that to Santoro. sure she was crying. I'm positive. Maybe it was an allergic reaction. No, doctor. She was looking at that girl and she was crying. She hasn't shown any emotion since before you were born. Good morning, Megan. She's gone. She was there a minute ago. Why don't you check with reception and see if they know anything? Yes, Doctor. Is there anything you want to tell me, Megan? Anything about that girl? What do you see now, Megan? Tell me. Tell me what you see now, Megan. What do you see? Doctor, the girl did come to the reception. But she wanted to see Megan. She said her name was Lindsay Tyler. Tyler? Yes. She said she was a friend. A friend? Interesting. I blame cholesterol before I blame the devil. Did you hear what I just said? Yes, I did. He had a heart condition. He died of heart failure. People die, Margaret. People don't make phone calls after they die, Tom. What are you possibly talking about? Three reports. I went to see Sheriff Parker. Oh, I bet he loved that. So we use Ralph's connection. So oh, what? So, so Ralph still has something you can use. Oh, God. Fucking asshole! What about those reports? Forensics. Triple A, 911 call from the driver who found him, they all coincide. Oscar Shyamalan died before we got that phone call at the library. 
Come on, Margaret. I'm telling you, something is going on. I know. It's mass hysteria. I already told you that's all that's going on here. Now you're buying oh, into it. God, you're, you're blind. Ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, I'm sorry. Why don't you come upstairs with me? We'll have a drink. Let's talk about this in a more relaxed fashion. I'm not in the mood. Are you sure? More than ever before. You close in the library tonight? I am, but I've got a little bit of work to do afterwards, so I'll call you when I'm ready, okay? Sounds like a plan. Bye, sweetie. See you later, Mom. Hello, Carmela. Hola, Mrs. Peterson. Hey, your Spanish is getting better. Oh. Muchas gracias. Hola, Carmela. you won't let me give you a ride today either. Actually, I will. help you? Oh, uh, I was, uh, is the church closed? Are you a reporter? No, I'm not. I, I was a friend of Father Jackson's. You had no friends? None other than that psychiatrist? Who? Don't know his name. Only shrink in town, anyway. So he was seeing a psychiatrist. You sure you're not a reporter? Yes, I'm sure. Have a nice day, Father. Would you like to come in? House of God is always open for the lost child. I'm not lost. You sure? Yeah. I'm sure. Maybe some other time.
Deputy Parker. Or is it Sheriff Parker now? Go on back to Chicago, Victoria. You have no business in Bachelor's Grove. I think I do. And so do you. I warned you. It's happening again. You were there. You saved my life once. That doesn't mean I'll be there the next time. didn't do anything wrong. I didn't do anything wrong. I don't expect you to fully understand me. I'll try my best. I grew up believing my parents were dead. You just need some time for this to settle in, that's all. What I really need is to see her. If you just told them the truth, I'm sure they'd let you in. I didn't dare to. Why? There's no shame in it. You might think this is crazy. No, I didn't mean to say crazy. I've been having visions. What do you mean? I've seen things you wouldn't believe. Dead people? Yes. Hey, hey, hey. 
Look, we've all been altered by these recent no, crimes. No. I mean, we're in a relatively small town where what? nothing happens, and all of a sudden people... No, know damn it! I've been seeing things since before all this happened. Since before I knew the truth about my mother. Okay. It's okay. I have this nightmare. Over and over again. A window. In the cemetery. Something happened at the cemetery. Listen. I can't walk into the madhouse saying, Hi, I'm the daughter of one of your crazy patients. May I come in? They're not going to lock you in if that's what you're afraid of. What if they do? Come on, Lindsay. I mean, not right away. But what if they do eventually? That is not going to happen, baby. Tim, now that I know who my mother is, it all makes sense to me. And it terrifies me. Maybe this isn't such a good idea after all, huh? But I do want to see her. You just don't want the doctors and nurses to know. Something like that, yes. That would be perfect. What if I told you I think I might be able to help? What do you mean? Help me how? I think I might be able to arrange an unofficial visit with your mother. Tim Peterson, I hope you are not bluffing. I never bluff. Then I wouldn't know how to thank you enough. I'm sure we could think of something. Dr. Santoro? Yes. Your new patient is here? Thank you. I'll uh, be there in a moment. I'm sorry for your loss, Miss Gaines. Thank you. What brings you back to Batch's Grove? Most people would try to stay away from a place that has brought them nothing but pain. I'm trying to resolve some issues. Such as? I need to find some answers to what happened to my, my sister and my niece. I'm sure the police are conducting an investigation. The police? Please. They didn't show up to the crime scene until an hour later. I don't think you're here as a patient. I made an appointment. You seem to be coping with grief better than most people. I understand that you and Father Jackson were friends. Who told you that? The new priest. What new priest? Father Jackson's replacement, a, a blind priest. They haven't replaced Father Jackson yet. Uh, the hospital and church share the same boards. But I talked to him. I would be the first one to know. Do you think a place can be evil? What do you mean? Bachelor's Grove. Do you think a place can be inherently evil? Evil from its foundations? No. Drive people to do, to do terrible things? No. 
What about the Duncans' crime? John Duncan had lost his job and may have thought he wouldn't be able to support his family and so decided to put a drastic end to the problem. No. I'm sure there's a pattern. There is a pattern. Societal and economic. But not what you're looking for. I'm sure there's something else, something more. Something like what? I was born here. Did you know that? No, I didn't. My father was Reverend Charles Gaines. Did you ever hear about him or read about him? No, why should I have? My father tried to kill me in the same way that Father Jackson killed my sister and my niece. Except that I survived and after that, we left Bachelor's Grove. And now you came back? I think Bachelor's Grove called me back. And what do you expect to find? An answer, a connection, something in the past maybe. Then you don't need a shrink. I'm not so sure. What you need is a historian. Do you know any? Bob Tyler. He's a retired history teacher who knows more about the history of Bachelor Grove than anyone I know. Sounds like a good idea. Doors in my office will be open for you if you decide to come back and see me afterwards. As a patient? I'll be curious to know what you find out. Thank you, doctor. Good luck. Mrs. Peterson. All set. What do you mean? What's that? Remember creepy Jimmy? What about him? Well, he works over at the madhouse. He does security at the late shift. I said madhouse, didn't I? I didn't mean to say madhouse. So he can let us in? Yeah, he can, and he will. When? His shift starts at 8. So we got some time to kill. That's fine. That's perfect. You okay? Yes. You don't seem super excited. Thought this is what you wanted. It is. I'm just a little nervous. Hang on. Ah, uh, shit. Anything wrong? Uh, my mom said I was supposed to pick her up from work. You are not gonna cancel on me, are you? No. No, Carmela's got it. I don't know who Carmela is, but I want to give her a hug. Yeah, I could use one too, you know. <laughs> Thank you. 
Mr. Tyler? Miss Gaines, please come in. Thank you so much for seeing me on such short notice. This is my wife, Eloise. Hi, how you doing, Mrs. Tyler? Nice to meet you. Now, how may we help you? <sighs> Where do we start? I think Mrs. Peterson is here. No, it's not Mrs. Peterson. I'll be right back. I'm home. He's coming. He's getting in the car. Okay, we should definitely do that more often. Okay, text him. Who? Creepy Jimmy. Oh, God, yes. Sorry. Okay. Got it, green light. Now? Yeah, let's go through the back. The history of Bachelor's Grove is a history of blood, but then most American history is. The blood of Indians, the blood of slaves, the Civil War, the list goes on. Would you like some cookies? I'm sorry, what was that? Cookies! Would you like some with your coffee? <sighs> sure, thank you. I'm looking for this picture. I know I'll find it. What's in the picture? One of the founders. Founders of Bachelor's Grove? Yes. Although not in the ceremonial sense, he was one of the first German immigrants who settled here in the mid-1800s. They were working on the Illinois-Michigan Canal. A bunch of bachelors, that's where the name comes from. Uh, strong single young men who worked very hard during the day and had nothing to do at night. There were no movie theaters, no TV, no radio. No women either. Nothing but time to kill. So what do you think they did? I don't know, they, they turned gay? No. Well, maybe. They worshipped the devil. You mean they... Following the Civil War, recently freed slaves immigrated to Illinois. 
these bachelors would hunt them down and murder them in rituals, offering them as human sacrifice. So they were looking for people that no one would care about. They targeted folks who didn't even have a legal name. If it were today, they target illegal immigrants. Some things never change. They don't even know how many of them they killed. Even women and children. And Bachelors Grove Cemetery was the location they chose for their rituals. People are evil. And the devil? Maybe we don't even need one. The place is filled with tragedies and crimes. They say Al Capone used to dump bodies in the lagoon by the cemetery. Many stories of suicides. What happened to my father? The Satanist rituals of the 70s and 80s. And now these crimes. And now these crimes. So there is a pattern. Of course there's a pattern. It's a pattern of evil. My wife has an interesting theory about that. I do? Yes. That deal about evil traveling like waves, how does it go? Oh, Bob, Miss Gaines isn't here to listen to my senile ravings. Oh, no, that is exactly what I came here for. Well, I think that spirits, good or evil, travel through space and time like waves, and certain people or places tune into these waves. I think you're right. It sounds a bit too crazy. No, please. Go on, Mrs. Tyler. Take the case of Megan Aldrich, who's been sitting in a room, looking out the window, day after day for decades. What if she had found a way out of the prison of her own body? What if, after years, she had perfected some kind of technique to project herself out into the outside world? What would she do? Where would she go? Would she use that power to get even with those who put her in that chair, in that room? Could she be like a, a tower that can, what's the term I'm looking for, broadcast? Could she be the tower that broadcasts waves of rage, revenge, and death? I'm Lindsay. We've never met before, but I'm your daughter. Mom, I know you've been trying to communicate with me. We don't have much time. She's only got 10 minutes and I mean it. Come on, be sensitive for Christ's sake. This is the first time she's seen her mom. Well, it's not like she's been missing a lot, you know. Things have been, <laughs> Things have been loopy since the 80s. You owe me, Peterson. <laughs> Shit, it's almost 10 minutes already. Jimmy, I gotta go. What? What do you mean? Gotta go. go. Get home. Some sort of emergency. But she's gotta go too. Like, come on, just give her some more time. No way. I pay you. You have to pay me regardless. No. She's gotta go now. I'll pay you more. All right, get out of here. Thank you. You owe me, Peterson. Hey, will you tell her I'll call her later, okay? I might call her myself.
that, bitches. Family reunion's over. What the hell? What the fuck? <laughs> now what, bitch? What you gonna do now? Get off! You wanted to take Mama home, didn't you? I knew it since your pussy boyfriend asked me to let you. Let go! What are you gonna do, huh? Difficult situation, isn't it? You can't call the cops on me for trying to stop you from kidnapping your patient. Get off me, son of a bitch! I could call the cops on you, you know? What are you going to do to stop me? Mom! We don't want mommy to see this. Mom! Thank you both for your time. <laughs> and for your cookies. You're very welcome. I hope we were able to help you somehow. You did. More than you think. Good. But she's not picking up. Stop worrying, will you? She should have been home hours ago. Anything wrong? No, it's everything's fine. Lindsay, she always calls when she's late. My wife worries too much. Well, maybe we can ride around town and maybe we can find her. Oh, that's I would greatly necessary. appreciate that. Look, let's go. It's the least I can do after so much hospitality. Now see what you did? Now we have Miss Gaines worried too. Please call me if you find her. You stay put. Miss Gaines and I will go and have a drink. <laughs> Please, don't worry. We'll find her. Thank you. Mom? Dr. Sitara? Mom, come this way, quickly. <gasps> Lindsay! Thank God you're here. I thought something Oh my God, Grandma. Oh, what have you done? Grandma, please! She's in danger!
Tom. Margaret? Tom. I killed them. What are you talking about? You, you killed who? I killed them all. Margaret, calm down. It starts with the voices, Tom. They get in your head and they tell you what to do. I killed Timmy. Oh, God. I killed my own son. Mar Mar Margaret, <laughs> give me the sword. Please. I, I killed our son, Tom. Our son? I'm sorry. what he wants. May I ask you a question, Mr. Tyler? You can call me Bob. Why did you and your wife decide to adopt Lindsay? You all aren't related to Megan Aldridge, are you? It was the least I could do. What do you mean? As their teacher, I knew those knuckleheads were up to something. I didn't know what exactly, but I knew they were taking a walk on the dark side, if you will. I should have spoken to them or to their parents, but I didn't. I didn't do anything. You're not responsible. Oh, yes, I was. Guilty by omission. Something happened to Megan and I could have prevented it. They found her the next morning walking on the road, half naked, unable to speak, unable to tell on whoever had abused her. Wow. So she ended up pregnant. Yes. And now I have a beautiful granddaughter. It was the least I could do. So who's the father? Hello? Bob, are you at home? Actually, I'm not, doctor. I'm driving around with a pretty girl. <laughs> Lindsay took Megan Aldridge out of the hospital. She did what? I think it's safe to assume she would take her to your place. I think you're probably right. I'll meet you there, Bob. Thank you, uh, doctor. Have you called the police? No, I'm, I'm sure we can handle this privately. Thank you, doctor. What happened? Trouble. We have to go back. This is Deputy Gray. She was going west on 143rd, but just made a U-turn. Now she's going back east. They want me to follow her. Let them go, Gray, and bring all units to the Petersons' farm. We've got bigger problems. started years ago. Are you serious, oh God, Coach? We know what needs to be done. We know what he wants. I made her some soup. Thank you, Grandma. I'm going to call Dr. Santoro. No, wait. Oh, that must be Bob. I just hope it isn't the police. Where is she? No! You bastard. She wouldn't let go. What do we do now? Tie her up. Take Megan to the car. What happened to you, Tom? You were always the smartest of the bunch. That's precisely why I know. I know what needs to be done. 
Let's go freak. Nobody's picking up. No, I am worried. Don't worry, we're almost there. Mrs. Toro's here. Eloise! What happened? Quickly. She can't breathe! Bring her medication. Which one? All of them. What happened? They took Megan with them. Who? Baker and the Kinsleys. Hurry up. Where? We have to take her to the hospital. Back to this Grove Cemetery. Let's see what after them. <sighs> Eloise, are you okay? Say they run Principus Pace. Oh my god. Mom. It's an EK Persic Ajorame Dumine Satanus Mace. Justicia eight luxurious status to I. Let's get this over with. What are you waiting for? Let's do it. It's an EK Persecutor. Tom? It's an EK Persecutor. Tom? It's an EK Peggy? <laughs> <laughs> Honey, what's wrong? Look, Roy, don't, don't go any nearer. Peggy? Don't go any nearer, Roy. Peggy? Peggy, what's wrong? It's you. Peggy. It's always been you. 
Dad. You got that right. But guess what? I don't even care anymore.
Lindsay, I'm sorry. Your mother is dead. Lindsay. Lindsay. I still find the mass hysteria explanation a bit hard to swallow, doctor. Would you prefer demonic possession? No, of course not. Is she going to recover, doctor? It's hard to say, Bob. We'll do everything we can. What about the father? I'm sorry? Who's Lindsay's father? Does it matter? They're all dead now. So how's Eloise? Prettier than ever. I knew your mother very well. And I think I knew what she could do. Is she still talking to you? Has she told you anything about that night? About your father? to my regular life, to deal with my own demons and leave others behind. You're always welcome here, Victoria. Thank you, Mr. Tyler. That is, if you're not afraid of the devil. Lindsay. Thank <laughs> you. 